This is Tea Time and welcome to another special episode. Uh, my name is Elsie Godwin and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Olua Oshankaya. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. All right, I think this morning we're starting on a high note as Davido um, proposes to Chioma. And then, of course, yeah, God, yes. I saw his post yesterday where he said, uh, and she, she said, said yes. yes. Never mind. What was she going to say? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand. But yeah, very big congratulations to them. And it's good to know that this is actually happening. Mm. And we now see that she's heavily pregnant, mm. right? So, I don't know. Ah, I'm just really excited for them. It's like, I, I was the one that I was proposed to. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so happy that this is happening, like you said, because. Mm, People have talk, oh. mm. I mean, people have really, really talk. But even if she's pregnant, it's still okay to know that it's accepting her with the baby and is ready to marry her mm. with the baby. So I'm just really happy for them. Okay. Congratulations to David Owen Chama. I just heard the narrative that it's every time a woman is pregnant that um, they propose. That's just a wrong way to look at it because it makes it look like a lot of men are not even ready for commitment until you get pregnant for them. So um, I wish she wasn't pregnant, but at the same time, I'm happy for the both of them. All right. Um, moving on from that um, very exciting news to um, Adele, she has officially filed for divorce from her husband um, for I think nearly. After five months, five right, months, after yeah. they announced the split, um, she filed on Thursday, September 12th, after more than seven years together. The former couple announced their separation in April 2019. Okay, yeah. so I guess we, Another we, we saw Abom this coming. Is coming. <laughs> that I will listen to and cry myself to sleep well. because of my boyfriend that I don't know yet, but mm. <laughs> I know that our next album is going to be lit anyways. It's yeah. a sad story, but... Mm -hmm. It's okay if, if she thinks that, if they both think that they can't work together, because from what I read, sources close to them said that they are still friends mm -hmm. and they have plan of raising their son together, their son together in mm -hmm. a loving manner. Yeah, I think and it's just a case of their time, their work, their mm -hmm. preferences, you know, exactly. a lot of and They feel play. like friendship will go longer than the than old the marriage. love and marriage thing. So it's okay for them. Mm -hmm. I wish both of them best of luck and everything. Um, concerning the marriage and child um, custody, we'll find out how that. Mm, I think they, they, I'm hoping that it will be a fair, fair sale. It shouldn't mm. be dirty or yeah. say, oh, you don't have a right to this child. I right. think they will both find a way to make it co work and co-parent in peace. Mm. I don't think we're going to see any custody drama, battle drama, any yeah. soon. And I, I hope so. they don't try to prove me wrong. But from I what just we are really seeing, right? So too. I because feel like he's the going guys, to the guys, our husband, our ex-husband is a cool guy, so mm -hmm. I don't think he's a troublemaker that wants all that drama too and i don't think she personally wants that drama for herself so like you said i hope they don't prove us wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um I, I just have um another problem with celebrity marriages because um if you are getting married to somebody and you believe in their vision their dream you should know that okay there's a certain level and standard they will get to because the reasons for their breakup is because she became bigger and bigger and bigger and the more she had world tours, they grew apart and all of that. But if you're going to marry a star, then know that you're getting married to a star. You don't really have to be all about the emotional. Oh, of course, you know this person will travel a lot. You know this person will be away for a long time. And especially when you're in the, you are not in the same line of work where you get to travel with her most of the time or you get to be with her most of the time. Those things, because they say um, out of sight is out of mind and it leads to a lot of temptation. If my wife is away in different countries for about nine months, I'm not saying it's an excusable reason to cheat, but I'm saying that um, it's enough for anybody to feel left out and lonely and make wrong decisions. Not that they're making those wrong decisions because they are supposed to, but because this is the human mind and this is how it's controlled, out of sight is out of mind. So I don't know. I think we also need to focus on if you're getting married to somebody, even when you're getting married to them and they're not yet so big and you believe in their dream so it just makes it look like celebrity marriages are like your partners did not see it coming that you will become a superstar a world star a global star no i think 
I think it's just a case of um, when you're already into it. You know, there's some things that you, you cannot imagine how, what it's going to look like until you get yourself into it. I'm sure they probably thought that it's something that, you know, sometimes you don't even see your future clearly. She probably does not see herself this big by this time. They probably didn't plan that mm -hmm. all this will happen and all of that, and they're already into it. That's why I think the divorce is okay if at this point they see that things are not working well. Mm -hmm. I mean... The last time I read, or the last thing I read, or I don't know if we are reading from different sources, mm -hmm. but I don't think the fact that she's a star is the issue. Yeah. The right. issue was based on the fact that I think she wanted to stay more in London also, because either London or America, because it felt like she she was able to be a normal human being there. It's mm. to, as regards to, I mean, I'm mixing it up now. I don't know if it's London or America, but one of the places was a case of if she's walking on the streets, everybody knows, and then she had more friends there. And this guy also is not just a regular guy. He's actually a very top-known guy and mm. well-known guy in his own right. You know, I feel like it's also nice to allow them try. I mean, you, you win some, you lose some. And the most important part of this conversation is that they remain friends. Mm. And even the sources that are always the sources and talking <laughs> from this side are maintaining that side, there is yeah, no yeah, bad blood. No they bad are good. They good it's friends. a decision they had to come to and say, OK, this is the best thing for us at the moment. She's still supporting him. He's still supporting her. They have something that's going to bind them together for the rest of their life. And that is the child they have together. And I'm glad that they're saying they are willing to co-parent together in love, mm. right? So I don't think this is a bitter breakup. I don't think it's a case of, oh, you shouldn't have done this or you had mm. made the wrong choices. Cheating wasn't even part of the reason, you know? So I think they understand each no other so well. cheating is part of the reason. I think they understand each other so well to know that, okay, at this point, let's just have that space to be able to test the waters if we want to and see no, what No, for happens, me, I right? mean, you don't even know what it is until you get yourself into yeah. it. That's mm -hmm. like, you don't, I, I can't imagine that, I don't know, but maybe um, Jay-Z didn't think that Beyonce would be this big as a when they got married mm -hmm. or whatever it is. I mean, we, we handle things, going big yeah, together. we mm -hmm. handle things differently. Mm -hmm. you get? The way I would take um, the, a particular thing is not the way Ife would take it. Mm -hmm. So if, my, my own point is, until everything gets bitter. Mm. I'm happy that they discovered now that they are not going to work. And before it gets to that stage that both of them will get bitter at each other, is better that they split now. Mm -hmm. And I think they made, for me, I feel like this is I just mean, the right decision. I mean, they've announced this already. This just yeah. to formalize things, mm -hmm. and I think they need it. So I think they need it. So. I'm good with them. I think this is a focus of on people not having goals and decisions and having future plans for where they are going to be because if you have goals and you have ambitions and you know that this is where I see myself in the next five years and you're in a relationship for eight years, I think those visions and accomplishments should be things, should be things that you have already envisioned. So on that note, I think um, you need to know who you're getting involved with before you even get involved with them and believe in their dream, believe in their vision, and believe in their goals, accomplishments, and be there to be supportive regardless of what goes on. <laughs> is, I don't know if I'm going to be sorry. Yeah, right. Because it's not even a case of, oh, there is some bitterness or there's something. They are so cool with what they are doing. Like, that's, extraordinarily cool. That's, that's the cool. thing. I don't think you're getting where I'm coming and, from. And, and I don't also, think I also not understand, in no, I also understand what you're saying. I mean, no, you I know you people that believe that from. they have to do the five years projection, the ten years, you know where you're going. But I mean, I'm of the school of thought that life happens and I'll take it each day as it comes. Mm. It doesn't mean I'm not going to open my day to see opportunities. You can even plan and, and it that. Walk the you know, so plan. exactly, I mean, but it's, be aware of I don't the plan think so that when the plan works, mm. it's not it doesn't come as a shock. But when you have that mindset of it won't work, every plan I have set for myself that I'm going to accomplish, I will definitely accomplish it because I believe in myself, I believe in my dreams, I so, believe in my goals. It's okay, and but in this case or the that, context of the conversation, hello, wait, hold up, this hold is up. Not I'm not talking that's about the con now. I am not talking about the context of the conversation. But, hey, that's what you should now, have said that you want to take us out of the context because we are both talking about you are the one going Adele out of the context the because husband, we, if we were talking about situation. real life situation of people then you also have to put in place the reality of life if I, know, reality, if I, I feel like reality. the reality of life <laughs> is that two people get together 
and then just hope. I mean, it's not the future is not even certain. You can only hope and try. And if you think that at this point you can't go any further before you get bitter, it's better you split. That's why I think, to be honest. Good I don't problems. think that anybody wants to be with somebody and only if you're a bad person, yeah, there are some bad people. You want to be with somebody, I don't want to don't support to their shine. dream. You don't want them to shy. Oh, exactly like it don't happen. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's some bad people. You're a bad person if you think you're with somebody and you don't want that person to shine. Like, I mean, you're a bad person. Good stuff, mm? Okay, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, it will be time for more stories. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is from mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. Moving on to the next story. Files and Sakodie has been nominated in a newly created category dubbed Best International Flow for 2019 BET Hip Hop Awards. The category highlights rap artists from different countries such as Nigeria, UK, France, South Africa, Ghana, and Can Canada. Um, I think N Nasisi is also representing for South Africa. And, uh, this is a, a good one. I mean, I love Sakodie. I love files and I love nasty C. So, so this is, is going to be one, yeah. hard, right? But when I saw naturally we want to support our own to win. I mean files all Supporting, the way, right? You know <laughs> <laughs> but they are Nigeria all so all the good. They are all so good. Mm. Either of these three, anyone they that takes it home. Mm. I'm I'm okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Me too. I think I think if any if any of them should get that award, mm -hmm. they all deserve it. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, when I saw the list, I'm like, this is a very difficult one because, mm -hmm. like you said, I like I like Sakode, I like Fowles, I like Nasty. So it's just people who vote here. Yeah, I think is ah, is it merit? I'm not very or? sure right now, but yeah, I just. But hope I think one people would probably it. is yeah. um, a voting category, and mm -hmm. people who vote and they're the best man win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not about um who we like and who we do not like. It's about the album Blings and Strings by Nice to See was a great album. Sakode's album um, was a great album. Um, Fauzi's album, um, what's it called? Um, what was the name of Fauzi's album? Um, the societal stuff. Do you remember? Mm -mm. You don't remember either. Um, but I think this is um, a win. Moral instruction. What? Moral instruction. Moral instruction, yeah. So I think and Tory Lanez is also on the list, and I'm talking about the albums I've listened to. And if I really have to go about I've listened to Sakodi's album, I've listened to the Nasty C's album, I've listened to Moral Instruction, and I've also listened to Tory Lanez. And I think this is, um, it's a win-win. It's the competition, as far as I'm concerned, is between Nasty C and Tory Lanez. Mm. Anyways, I, if this is a voting category like you said, I'm not very sure right now. People are going to vote based on their feelings and who they like. Of course. There are, there are, of course, there are people that are music heads that will sit down and say, okay, uh, but at the end of the day, it still boils down to who do you like? Do you want this to come to your side? So it is a voting thing. That's if it is. But if it is not, then I think the board or whoever is in charge of picking it will now start whoever. listening yeah. to the album and having benchmarks and saying, okay, I'm listening to the lyrics, I'm listening to the voting, impact. I people vote because of who they, they like. like. Yeah. So for me, as far as I'm concerned, I'm African, I'm Nigerian, and we have um, Sakodje, we have Faust, and we have Nasisi. So if I'm really going to choose... <sighs> It will be hard for me, but because I'm a Nigerian, I'll choose Faust. It's just that simple for me. Mm, right. 
Anyways, moving on to the next story, Terence Howard may quit acting after Empire. Empire. The Oscar-nominated actor recently told Extra that once he wraps the Fox drama, he's finished with acting. He said, and I quote, oh, I'm done with acting, I'm done pretending. So um, I, we're not very sure because from what I read, he, has, he still has some projects he's working on. Mm. Um, I'm not sure what the statement is and they tried to reach out to his team after this interview to find out what he's really trying to say because they have this impression about him that once you can at least reach him, you get the truth because it doesn't mix words, right? But um, And he said in this interview that mm -hmm. once it's done, once um, after his retirement, he's bringing the truth to the world. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean... And I'm wondering what, what that what is. What truth? Uh, like, mm, I feel like he'll probably go into this... Um, the reality show? Uh, yeah, producing um documentary for probably Netflix or something. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the truth is because... Mm -hmm. I, I don't can't know what wait truth. to see what that yeah. shit is. It's very interesting. I really can't know. wait. Probably wants to shake some table in the Hollywood mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. Well, or maybe music. Or may <laughs> I think it will be more of Hollywood than music. Okay. If he wants to bring out any truth. Mm. Darren Sherwood has been, has been very iconic all through his career. And I think um, whatever decision he makes, whether he leaves the um, movie industry or whatever, he will still do great. So. Um, we're in support of whatever decision he makes and whatever um, floats his boat. Mm. But of course, he's been in the scene since 1990s, mm. right? He's, mm. he's lived, he's done it, he's done it all. So and he's a good like actor. Like he said, really. yeah, whatever decision he makes. But I really want to see that truth. I want to, Me, I I want to know what truth. he's planning because <laughs> yeah. I, I know for him to say it, there's, there's plan on coming, the way yeah. already. So I cannot wait to find out what Terence is working on. Me too. All right, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, we'll have time for just one story. We'll be right back. It's the hottest entertainment stories coming up right here, right now. This is Tea Time. Thank you for the tea. Between yourself and Neymar, who is the best rapper? I'm the best rapper. It might be maybe second after Magneto. Oh, oh, nice! nice. nice. Teddy is going to fry my brains if he saw this. Give me your account number, I'll make a transfer. You get the money? Yeah. <laughs> for me. I started getting scared when the robot boy started saying, you know, we worry people. One thing is certain. If you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. My kind of person, and I'm not ready to cry look, over any man. You look like Jerul, no? Uh, a lot of people say that. Yeah, just the looks, that's all. Mm -hmm. Not the account. Just wow. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, Nigerians always do better because they support each other. And this is coming from Obrafwa. Obrafwa. Okay, <laughs> I hope that's how to pronounce his name. But he made this known um, during an interview. And he was talking about the music industry in Ghana. And um, he feels that they should stop the um, bickering and quarreling and try to support each other. And he thinks Nigeria supports each other. So, yeah. I think we do. I we have we, our, we have our bad sides, yeah. yeah. But I think we genuinely support each other. I mean, we are the ones that would even call out to the next person when we know because we feel like oh, all of us are there. We sell it, settle it at the back. Right. So I think we really do support each other. But when I when I saw this, I'm like in some interviews here that I've seen Nigerian um, artists go on. They will say, um, Nigerians need to do better and support their own brand. Mm. And, uh, I feel like it's just when you're home. You know, there's this thing that they say that they don't appreciate you when you're mm -hmm. home, that kind of thing. Mm. Like. Yeah, he mentioned that too for Ghana too, that they don't, they like foreign things. I think we say well, that also about Nigeria. We say Nigeria that too, also, but, but I think it's the, just the because of the Ghanaian, the, that's no, why No, 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 the difference that. is Nigerians have embraced our song, our music. Like, mm. you go to the club now, maybe if you get the foreign vibe, that will probably happen for like, I think they started from like 1 o'clock or so for 30 mm. minutes or 20 minutes and they are back to Nigerian See, songs. Um, so me for, me for our music, I think we have embraced that I think that Nigerians sound. start embracing um, our music hearts after our artists have done enough to put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. Because back then, people want to, people don't really care about um, Nigerian well, How many music. artists did we have back then, though, that would, sus mm. that would sustain a that, whole night of That's life. why I said the, this current they artist, worked that top, they worked for it. Mm -hmm. It was after we already saw that, oh, even people outside there appreciating our music 
more than we do. Mm -hmm. I think that it was at that point Nigerians started like, okay, appreciating um, the Nigerian artists that we have here. Mm -hmm. And I think, to be honest, you can't take away the fact that our artists are very hardworking. I yeah. mean, name them. They are very hardworking. And when it comes to publicity and promoting their song, they, they, try. they really try mm -hmm. a lot. So, I if think I, they do way they, more promotions than Nollywood. You know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, we support our own. We can't take that away also. But they're also hard work. I'm sure Ghanaians to support their um, mu um, musicians anyways. It's just, I feel he's just saying it because he's Ghanaian and he's home and he's trying to just encourage his people to like, okay, let's just push ourselves out there too. And and I, I'm, I, Ghana music is really doing um, well too. Mm -hmm. They are out there. People listen to it. I mean, they are like... baby. If <laughs> 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 Um, I think um, I get where Obrafo is coming from because um, Obrafo is one of the um, pioneers, or should I say the music veterans in Ghana. And um, in Nigeria, even if you have a bad blood with an artist, but you know this artist is going to sell your tickets, you get an agency to go get that artist and strike a deal with that person. I've seen a lot of artists come in for events and then you tell them to stand in front of a particular brand and they'll tell you, I will never ever stand in front of this brand to take a picture. I'm not supporting them, but they have the event because they're getting paid for it. So what Obafo is saying is that once a Ghanaian has a problem with your star, okay, let's use Shatawali for instance. Shatawali was out of the um, Vodafone Music Awards for years because he had bad blood with them. Um, um, is it Chattered, um, Chatter House? Yes, in Ghana. And they were not putting him there, but a Shatawale on your concert will sell more tickets than any other random artist that you want to put there. But once they have bad blood, they don't support. So I think that's where Obrafo is coming from, saying that Nigerians, regardless, see, if you don't like David Do, you will still call him because you know he will sell your concert. Mm. So we support our own a whole lot more. And I'm saying this out of experience from living in Ghana and seeing how a lot of people say, oh, no, because they don't like this person and I want to bring him on my radio show. Somebody will say, or oh, my boss will tell me, no, 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 not that guy. He doesn't represent this. He doesn't do this. And that, 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 that. Yeah, they really do not support theirs, and especially their veterans. Um, one of the few, your time is gone, your time is gone, nobody appreciate. But out here, you still find us supporting people that they did music way back, and they're still relevant to dates because a lot of younger generations still put them on their views for so for. I'm going to use people like Quam One. I'm going to look people like, um, what's his name? Shino Peters. Peters. Shino Peters and the likes. They still put them on views of proper concerts that you're not expecting a shino Peter. But we have, we have people that still want to dance to the Afro Juju. We have people that still want to dance to a Kwam One at certain concerts. So we still respect our veterans and we still put them on the bill. But that doesn't happen a lot in Ghana. They feel like when there's a particular space, that's what they have to deal around. And that's not how it's supposed to work. So I get what Obafo is saying. And especially when you're being appreciated outside your own country, then. Out here, we recognize our own, we appreciate our own people way more than they do in Ghana. They mm -hmm. don't even get a lot of awards for doing a lot of things. We have a lot of very, 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 very talented artists in Ghana that are not being recognized, that are doing diff things differently. But because there's a cabal in the... We also have that going on here, but we have a whole lot more support in Nigeria, to be honest, than in Ghana. Yeah, I understand what you're mm -hmm. saying. And picking up from there, too, I think the numbers will play, too, because if you... Check the population of Nigeria and the population of Ghana. I mean, Lagos alone <laughs> is more than what Ghana, What about right? investments? You what know, about people on. opening record labels? About... How many record labels do we have in Ghana? Okay, so it's where I'm coming from isn't about their record labels or it's, it's off the back support. of what you're saying about them. I mean, a bright Chimese is still selling out. A Shino Peter still has geese, he's playing every year. Mm. We are so big that the sky is big enough for everybody. <laughs> if you feel like Lagos is not doing it for you, you can even be in Portacourt and own that place right. and pay, play every weekend, every time you have a show. Mm. So I think when their cabal can be so strong there is because how many are they before you know? But here you have different sets of people owning this area they tell you okay this is our own we are holding our auto mm -hmm. we are holding out this we are holding down and there is market for everybody a johnny drew will sell out his show and have five thousand people over there mm. he doesn't need to bring a davido to sell it right. there is market right for so everybody. i know that we support but then i think our numbers also comes to play because we have the numbers we have the population we have 
in fact, the, 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 the adage that the sky is big enough for everybody literally plays out. In, even in Lagos alone, it can play out. Talk more of the whole Nigeria, right? So I think it's, um, everybody's case is peculiar to where you are in. And yes, they need to support each other more, like he has said, from experience. Mm -hmm. But there are so many things that come to play at the end of the day. Honestly, because I mean, if it was, if we're going through um, by the um, award thing we talked about, mm -hmm. and if it was a voting category, imagine that all Nigerians have to vote for files mm -hmm. and let's say all Ghanians. Ghanians have to vote for Sakode. I mean, the numbers, like you said, will come into play. Mm -hmm. And it's not like they didn't support him, mm -hmm. but it's just that, well, it is numbers, what it is. Yeah. All right, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode or anyone you may have missed and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in ben T on Ben TV in London. My thank you as always will go to my co-anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shunkeye and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.